I said I really liked Alma, even called it the Mini UMRV. I stand by that. I wasn't joking. Now it's time for a speed build. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Stover Farm Channel. I'm so happy to have you here with us. We're taking a short break from the main farm in Wisconsin because Alma, Missouri is out and I want to do a speed build. These are really, really fun. I'm a little nervous. I'm only giving myself 60 minutes. Got a stopwatch set uh, to see if we can build the perfect farm on this really, really cool map. And I gotta give kudos to the map builder first before we begin. Everything can be sold. That is spectacular. Even these placeables, these decorative items, they can be sold. Now, we're making a couple of assumptions. A, that I own right now these fields, plus the main farm. I'm also gonna be using Easy Dev, so I'm working on a PC, yes, but the map itself is available for all platforms. I've given myself $35 million. We're gonna be using Delete Objects. We've got my entire mod folder from the Wisconsin build that I've done, and it loaded perfectly on this game. So let's hop into the map, the map editor, and let's begin. All right, first things first, this is not saying that anything's wrong with this, this farm. Again, really happy with the map maker. I'm just gonna make this my own in the time that I have. So I'm getting rid of the house. I'm selling that 60 grand, that gives us a little more money. And again, it's so great because I can actually delete these things uh, independently, where some maps in the game, you've actually got to either A, live with them, try the delete objects uh, mod that is out, uh, and or you delete one and you lose them all. And I don't want to lose all of them because look, there's really cool stuff here. Like, oh, actually, never mind. Sorry, that got deleted. That's okay. All right, so I got to put my foot in my mouth a little bit here. I was wrong. A couple of these decorative items are tied together. That's okay. The majority of them are uh, independently deletable. And I'm going to make a note here. I did not build this map first, delete it, start over and then start this recording. We're doing this pretty much on the fly. So bear with me, anything can happen. The computer could crash. I could run into some terrible obstacle. Uh, I could make a huge mistake and this could turn out awful. But again, this is really, really fun. Again, we're gonna focus on the house first, then the main shop area. And lastly, we'll focus on the animals and the fields. Again, to build a, what I would consider a perfect farm here in Alma, Missouri. Um, your farm could very well be better than mine. It probably is, honestly, if you take more time on it, but this is just really fun. Now, I'm gonna drop out of the editor mode and I've got the delete objects turned on. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start deleting trees. I'm gonna make sure I've got that on. Delete objects is on. Yes, I need to turn off flight mode because it gets grumpy. And now as I walk up to these things, I can start deleting trees. Uh, that is one of the really awesome parts of uh, being on PC. Uh, you've got some easy dev, and you can delete trees with the click of a button. I don't want to get rid of all these trees, but I just want to get rid of a few because I'm going to bring the house actually further back from the driveway. And I think I'm also probably going to maybe delete these trees out here because I've got an idea to put in uh, a little like fire pit area. Now, this tree always gives me trouble. you got to find the right branch to actually delete. There it is. Got it. Okay, that's gone. Maybe this can go away. That might not even be a tree that can be deleted. I might have to bring in and paint over that one. No. Yep, there we go. I got it. Okay, so we've got some of these trees deleted. We can see kind of the road. It's got this really pretty, like, look up the road with those the terrain of this map again i mentioned it's very similar to a mini umrv i stand by that uh very 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 cool again this is one of the harder trees to delete because you got to find the right little branch and there we go so again that's the delete objects mod uh, in easy dev uh, if you don't have a pc you're working on console uh, there are some fast ways to remove trees. Um, they're, they're, they're available for all platforms. So you just kind of have to look around for those. I think I might even have a video on it uh, in one of my playlists. So there we go. I'll delete maybe just a little bit more here. And this can be a little cumbersome. 
because again, you got to find the right little branch. See, I'm trying to click on these and they're not popping up. The way you actually stumble upon it is you will see in the lower right hand corner of my screen uh, a notification telling me what the object is. And when you see that, you know you're on the right part of the tree that you can delete it. And it's going to be in here somewhere. And the clock is ticking. i got to speed up here. Might have to leave that one. Not very good. Okay, let's hop back in the editor mode. One thing I do like to do when you've got a lot of uh, painted items on the ground is just come back in here and paint grass. Uh, because then once you get your objects down, you can then come back in and paint your driveway. So I'm going to put some grass down, and I'm also going to put down plants. I'm going to put down actual meadow grass, because I want my house to be in an area where there's grass. So I'm going to paint all this on here. We're not worrying about cost, right? Because they had $35 million. That was part of, once again, easy to have. I know. Console, though, don't worry. If you want more money, you want a ton of money, you can use the subsidies mod, uh, and you can just place a ton of those government subsidies uh, around your farm, and then go to sleep a few times, and before you know it, you'll have millions upon millions of dollars. All right, so we're good there. Let's drop a house in here. What am I going to do with the house? I think I'm going to turn it around. So let's come in here to buildings, farmhouses, and I love... Yeah, I know the Elk Mountain Ranch is typically used. It's a great, great um, uh, house. But I'm actually going to come in here and use an ancient mob. This is the American Farm Buildings Pack. I love the blue farmhouse. And I'm going to put it turned so that the back is actually facing the road. And I'm going to drop that right in there. Perfect. There we go. Now, we need to probably delete... Here's the one at the back of the house. I come around here and delete these trees. So I need a garage. I'm a car guy. I gotta have a garage. I can't have uh, my car sitting out at night. So we're gonna delete. Again, I'm looking for that uh, branch on this tree that's gonna pop up, and you can see it right there. So I've got my cursor, my crosshair. On that branch, it's not showing up. That branch, it's not showing up. This branch, it's not showing up. But right here, that, it showed up. It says it's a tree. Now, because I've got it on, I can delete it. That's what I was looking for over there, and I just couldn't find the spot. It happens. Um, okay, that's looking pretty good. We're going to have to do a little bit of terrain work in here. Let's check the clock. So how long have we been going? We have been going for exactly... Uh, about, oh, shoot, well, roughly eight minutes. Okay, we're okay. Let's come back into the map editor, and I want to put a garage in here. Now, as part of this uh, mod, there's a really cool garage that is part of the Alma, Missouri map. And it is right there. Now, Missouri U.S. Mod, it is a garage. And I kind of like it. It's not the right color. Um, but I could see a garage like this sitting back here, maybe. <sighs> Again, that color really bugs me. All right, let's go with the American Barn with Garage. This, I believe, is part of OK Use Mods. This, I know I can change the color and get us to that yes okay let's do that so we're going to drop that right in here how do i want to do this maybe i put <clears throat> see that doesn't look right either to me at least it wouldn't look bad if it were like this though i don't think we might need to get rid of some more trees in there if we drop that in right there okay we got a little bit of some leveling of the ground that we need to do that's okay how do we fix that well you can come in here to your landscaping you can go into your soften tool and now we can just slowly soften this a little bit uh, we don't want to soften too much because you start to pop up uh on on this right here if that gets annoying for you well just come back out demo your garage say okay come back into your softening tool and soften out the land first before you put the item down on the ground. This is going to help it so we don't have as much, uh, you know, terrain 
up and down. There we go. Alrighty. Buildings. Went by it. There it is. Let's get our color back. I kind of like that. Boom. Right there. Just like that. Alright, now we got to get a driveway in here to this. So, uh, one thing that is, uh, no, I kind of recommend. Again, go ahead and put your, uh, put your landscaping back down. So your, your meadow grass under the house. Just kind of get it under there because we're going to need to, um, come back in with some landscaping. But I'm, I want the grass to be there first so that I don't have to come back in and paint grass after I've spent a ton of time landscaping. I'd rather landscape around the grass. Again, uh, my clock is showing... Uh, we're doing okay. We're doing fine. Again, three phases of this. The house, then the animals... Uh, excuse me, the house, the farmyard, then the animals, and the field. So we're doing just fine. This is a speed build on Alma, Missouri, using uh, really unlimited funds, easy dev, the whole nine yards, you name it. Let's paint. Really nice uh, options for painting uh, provided by the map maker as well. Uh, that is always appreciated. I know for Mac and or PC users, we can go in and create um, paintable items easily. In console, you can't. So if the uh, colors and the palette is available from the start, that is just awesome. There we go. Okay. Now, I think I would want as we're coming into this driveway right here, this would be, you know, pulling equipment in here, um, you know, more than likely going to have... That's okay. Got outside of the lines a little bit. Perfection on a farm, it doesn't exist. Uh, that's what's really cool about this map and, and, and other maps out there where you, it, you don't have perfectly square lines. Um, grass grows from, uh, you know, weird areas. You know, heck, we could put some grass in here, just make that look like that. We'll get to this, but I'm just kind of trying to demonstrate that you don't have to have this super clean palette. Um, you know, curves don't have to be perfect. Lines don't have to be perfect. Uh, there can be dirt on the ground. In fact, that makes it feel more real. Okay, so there's that. Now let's go in. We need to build some type of driveway. I think I'm going to come in and I'm going to make concrete um, here. But, you know, I always like a, a kind of a concrete um, pad in front of my garage because we don't want to track in dirt and mud if we had gravel. So we'll do this. Like that. But now I am going to come in and probably use this gravel. And I think I would probably come like this. So this would you know, maybe shoot out like this. Get a little smaller right here. Might come across like that. Down here. And then turn. And this would follow suit. I don't need to make it too wide. Again, too wide it would feel unnatural. Just like that. Okay, now we can come in here, maybe with even a different color. That might be a little too dark. Let's go with this gravel. And come in here, and I'm not even going to get rid of all the grass. I'm going to leave some of that grass there. Because, again, it's gravel. You're going to have grass unless you're spraying kill all on it constantly. You are going to get uh, some growth up on that grass. I don't like that. There we go. I like that. Okay, so that's the entryway. Uh, now we would likely have uh, maybe a nice clean gravel pathway uh, up to the main door. This would be clean. 
that. Now, we probably would also want to have some type of, uh, you know, landscaping around the house. So let's come in here with our forest crown and just paint a little forest in here. A little happy cloud. Who was that guy? I always forget that guy's name. We got that. Now we've got a walkway here as well. So we're going to use clean gravel. And we're going to have this kind of come like that. Okay. Back to our forest ground around the back here. We'll put some plants in, more than likely. What I like here is by doing this, I don't have uh, just flat ground under the house there's still some of that uh, f you know grass under there it just again makes it feel a little more lively that tree I know is going into the house we would probably cut that down but we can't get into this house so I'm not too worried now let's do a decorative border let's come right off this edge Have a little collision there we'll pop it out and we'll do something similar here collision up until about that point so I'll probably have to stop it right there and then the same thing over here and just roll it into there and we'll go here as well. Right under that window. Perfect. Now we've got to put some type of uh, plants in here. Because this would look really weird. Uh, it might actually be kind of cool. Thinking. What would this look like? A collision there. It's not going to let me do that. Okay, uh, that's fine. We'll delete that. That's the beauty of it. Oh, took out some of our fence. No worries. We shall put it back. There we go. So, yeah, we'll just put some... Uh, just some simple, very simple flowers in here. Got the deer out. It is 8 a.m. and I've got the time turned off. So uh, the deer are out in the morning. That looks nice. I like that. And I might put a small tree over here, just kind of on this corner, and maybe a small bush right there. Might be a little too much. This look like. Mm. I'll pass. All right, so there we go. Not a bad little house. Um, looks pretty decent. I do feel like, you know, my uh, I'm gonna sell the fence because I I just don't think we're fancy enough for a white fence. I do love the red and white, but I feel like. Uh, our style would be a little more this type of fence. And I think I will come off the back here. Kind of here. Take it down to the gully. Which is great that we have those. I'm going to follow the same path that it was, leaving plenty of turning room for trucks and equipment. And I don't know if I'll continue it up there or not. 
I don't think I will. I think I might leave it right there. But I might come in here with something decorative. Just to kind of, I don't know, make that fence seem right, I guess. There we go. So again, all we've done, we've gotten rid of the of the main house. I think this tree right here needs to go. Don't forget to save, folks. Do not forget to save. Yeah, I think this tree needs to go. Maybe this tree as well, and that tree. That makes it a little more visible. I always like to come out here, take a look at what my property is going to look like. And I like that. The house has turned a little bit. Yeah, very nice. Now, we need, and I was talking about a potentially a, like, a seating, a sitting area down here. Let's see what we've got. I've got this little pergola. Would this work? It's almost a little too fancy. Oh, there's a darker colored one. Okay, I like that. Decorative pergola. I don't know. I almost feel like, given the age of the house, that's a little too modern. I wonder if I can find the gazebo in time. I know I've got a gazebo in here. Yes, right there. Yeah, let's put this here. So this might be a little more... accurate for the... Uh, location. Yeah, I like that. Um, and then that's, you know, got a little cooking area in front. And, and we might... So I, I do love a bonfire. I love a bonfire. So I want to put a... I'm going to come find this bonfire. This is a mod. It does have a flame. Where did it go? You ever get into this situation where you're in, like the decorations tab and you I don't know, your mind goes crazy and you just can't find what you're looking for there we go, got tiki torches as well so maybe like, okay, you'd have inside the gazebo but then maybe out here is gonna be the bonfire and then we would come in with some rock, some gravel and paint around it and have a little seating area out here and maybe, like, there's a, a, a walkway that comes out here. Not a perfect walkway. If I had more time, I would probably put um, uh, rocks down. I think that would be kind of cool. Not enough time. Gotta move. Gotta go. Gotta go. And put a little bit of this around here. Because, again, we probably wouldn't have grass growing in our gazebo. But we would likely have, I think, probably some type of vegetation out here. Because, again, we're kind of close to the the roads. This might be kind of like that. You could see this vegetation, you know, kind of continuing out a little bit. Again, it's not perfect. We don't have this amazing golf course yard. Okay. And, you know, honestly, we might even throw a tree in here. Like a big elm. Like right on the edge of property. Right there. How's that look? Is that okay? Yeah, I kind of like that. It, uh, well, I don't know. I don't think it fits any of the other trees. Hold on. Stand by. Yeah, see that looks a little off. We'll put an elm in there, but maybe not that big of one. Let's go with this elm. A little smaller. There we go. Like that. And that's our house. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we would get some flame there. We could put, um, if we wanted to, around the um, seating area. Those chairs are way too nice for 
my farm. We need some cheap chairs for this bonfire. I know there are cheap chairs in here. Uh, something like that might work. No, we gotta have cheaper chairs than that. Those are nice chairs. There we go. That is my bonfire chair. And those are um, changing the terrain a little bit. I don't think it's enough to really make a huge difference, but uh, I like it. So yeah, there we go. It's the back of the house. Let's see what this looks like. So we'd be, you know, coming out on the back porch. You've got your trigger for... I believe that's a sleep trigger, and you can come out of the backyard, you can come down here. Oh, look, our we changed our train a little bit. We've got a little floating fire pit. But that fire pit does light up at night, and you can come down into your, your gazebo, and you can look out onto the beautiful terrain here in Helma. And then we'd have cars, we'd have our car, our lawnmower, everything stored in the garage. I like that. We probably need to do just a touch more... Uh, here, I said I wasn't going to bring that fence all the way around, but I'm having second thoughts. I don't know. I don't know. Now, you know what I think we'll do? Here we go. Let's grab a fence. Let's mirror this over here. We'll bring this like this. And this will be kind of the, you know, again, this is the the, the, the house yard. Bring it up through here. I'm just going to kind of guess where I'm at and see if I can connect it. Collides. But if I click there and we close off. There we go. That worked perfectly. So now we've got um, this is a, a little bit of a a nice front yard now and we probably would want to get the mower out that grass popping up on the on the driveway is really annoying me so i'm gonna probably paint over here real fast so we probably you know it's, it's a nice farm we would take care of this i kind of cut into my yard but there that's okay we'll just Like that. I am using a mouse and keyboard for this, so if you're on console and you're just using the um, game set, that can be really, really tough. I get it. I am going to come in here, give it a small brush, and I will at least kind of... I won't make it all one shade. Make the gravel kind of splotchy as it is out here. You know, there's kind of these little splotches where some of it's been rained out. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so I think that's where the house would be, and I have no clue what time we're doing. We're just, we're just, we're still going for it. Now, I don't love Quonsets, so I would more than likely come in here and delete this Quonset. And you get $22,000 for it. We're going to delete the equipment as well. I'm going to delete that large wooden garden shed for $375. But the bin site, I love these bins. I love that we've got conveyors for them. I'm keeping those. The main shop, that's going to go away for thirty-five dollars because I'm going to bring something a lot bigger in here. Now, I need to get rid of this equipment like really, really, really fast because I probably wouldn't use this equipment. That's the cool thing about the Delete Objects mod, if you've got Easy Dev. You don't have to sell any of this, you can just delete it. You don't get any money for it, but uh, at least you can delete it very, very quickly. Probably get rid of this case. What do we got here? A little Maxim 115. And what do we have here? 7150? Okay. And that head. I've actually got that head in my farm in uh, Wisconsin. We're using that right now to cut grain. 
because the the uh, wheat is finally ready to harvest. Okay, so I said I'm getting rid of that. Uh, I'm keeping this this cow uh, barn is spectacular. I really really like it, and I love that it's connected uh, to this um, pit. Really really like that. Again, it's down on a hill. It's just really slick. This, I believe, is Sheep's... I, I, so kudos, again, to the mod maker. And I would say his name. I believe it's Silabuki. I'm going to get that wrong, and I don't want to pronounce it wrong constantly, so I'm just going to say the, the map maker. Um, it's kind of a Hunger Games type of thing, I think. They had a map maker in there. <laughs> um, map maker has added all of these animal areas, which I, I think is great. I would not have sheep on a cow farm with horses and all this stuff. But they're here if you wanted to. Again, this uh, horse barn, love it. It's really, really nice. It's very unique. Just don't think I would have it on this farm. So we're going to get rid of that as well. That gives us so much room here to bring in, and I've got to actually run out of the way because the character is going to be in the way. The shop that I'm using in Wisconsin, which I absolutely love, I do not believe it is for all platforms, but it is the American Shed with Lounge. Uh, it's big, and it will fit all of your equipment. Now, everything's red on this farm. I like the red and white, so we're going to stick with that red color scheme. Let me find the right shade. That's a little too red. But I believe that will work right there. So we're going to put this, make a little drive path here between the cow shed and the silo. This door here closest to us, this is where you can get your combines out with a big, gigantic head on it. We're going to drop that in right there. Now, that was a very, very expensive $150,000. Again, doesn't matter, though, because we've got easy dev. We're only down to $33,000, so we're doing really, really well. Okay, we kept these trees here. I honestly don't mind them right there. It gives enough room to come around. Again, they keep some of the detail of the area. That shop fit in here extremely well. Uh, I would say, because again, you'd be pulling combines in here, likely going to uh, come in here for some gravel, paint some gravel in. There's concrete around the perimeter of this uh, as it's dropped, but I think we would probably come in here and we would make this be gravel. And again, I like to, you know, switch it up a little bit. doesn't need to be all one shade of gravel. Just give it a little bit of depth. Paint that on like so. Uh, and that looks pretty good. We may even, you know, for a farm like this, because you'd be turning combines in here, uh, I need to look at the... Yeah, that... So, I, you know, likely would probably put... Um, we would expand this, I, I do feel. So we would probably... You know, come here a little bit and maybe we we're bringing in some gigantic equipment. So we would expand this entrance just a little bit. And it does, again, does not need to be perfectly straight. It doesn't need to be perfect 90 degree angles. In fact, I think if you can avoid those, uh, you can make your farm, your, your farmyard, your shop feel more realistic. Change the size of my brush a little bit. And right here, you you know, may even put in like a, a concrete pad or something. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. So I'm painting on this particular gravel. Uh, and it's not the same shade as what is currently there from the base map. And it doesn't look bad, I guess. But I do feel if you can come in, you can make your brush size a little smaller and just like randomly paint areas in here just to give it a little bit of depth a little bit realistic feel because gravel again it's not always poured or, or laid perfectly flat and that now matches a little better it's a little bit again 
I had more time, I'd be able to come in here and really make some, um, some, some edits on this that would be very, very detailed. We're on a time crunch. Okay, so there's the big barn. It's not the perfect color of red. I wish I could get that in like a faded red like this, um, but it will be okay. All right, here we would likely, we do. Those are cows coming out here. I got rid of the fences. So we're going to have to put fences up. We need bunkers. Okay, okay, so the bunkers are going to go here. So we're going to go into buildings, silos, and we're going to just take some base game bunkers. This is going to be a big farm. We might need bigger bunkers than that. So we'll probably come in here. And bunkers, they have to go at, like, proper 90-degree angles. I don't think you can snow. So we'd have some decent-sized bunks. Maybe one, two, three, like that, across. Yeah, like that. And again, I'm going to come in here to my landscaping tool. I'm going to get grass, and I'm just going to paint grass because I'm, I want to cover up and make new uh, driving paths. So I want to make my own driving paths. So I'm just going to this. This was the drive path around the old uh, cow barn that and then I'm gonna also come in here and I'm gonna paint in a meadow meadow grass so I'm gonna do this first and then I'm gonna paint the pathway on top of it so that I don't have to come back in with a super small brush and try and paint around the pathway. And it's okay, once again, if, if you get some of that grass spilling over onto certain things. If you're spending a ton of time on this, uh, you're you know more than likely going to go in and, and really change some... Uh, change some things, clean up areas that might have some spillage. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, I think it's better when it's not perfect. Yeah, I like that. I, honestly, I kind of want this to be like a driving path through here, because I like this area. There's a farmer I watch on YouTube, Kips, Kip Siegler, I believe, has a really cool setup on his farm where there's like an alleyway, and he's got you know animals on one side and equipment on the other, and then all the, the, the bins, or I should say the silos, they're kind of like down an alleyway. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. So we'll come in here, and I hope I'm not boring you all. This is really kind of a, well, I've, I've done this before, but I haven't done it in a long time, so it might be a little rusty. And if you're just joining us, this is a speed run, a speed build through Alma, Missouri. Uh, it just released on the, I believe the 5th of October, 2023 for all platforms. I did a very quick look at it yesterday, compared it as a mini UMRV. I still stand by that. It's a very, very nice map with some great terrain contours, uh, a ton of farm area, and a nice uh, a town on one side of the map that you can, uh, you know, that you can use, and it's very realistic. So we're doing a speed run on the main farm. Nothing wrong with the main farm as it is from the, the base game map. Just want to make it my own and see what we can do. So we've kind of got that little drive path in here. So I'm going to keep those trees. I kind of like them for some reason. Now, so we got all this grass here. This is where we can come back in now into our painting tab. And we can choose a type of gravel that we like. And we can now extend... these pathways however we want them and again they do not have to be perfect they can be if you know you want them to be but I don't think they need to be there we go we have access there into the barn kind of like that love that 
Uh, I think that tree needs to go, though. Oh, we're on the wrong side of the barn. So let's come over here. This random tree just sitting here. Uh, sorry, tree, you gotta go. So bunks here. We got rid of the horse stables. We're keeping the cow stables. Uh, we're gonna expand this right here. And we're on the second phase of this build. So we initially did the farmhouse. We're now doing the uh, shop area and uh, the animals. We'll then shift into the fields. Uh, let's grab gravel. Expand on this. This is going to come back out here. I don't know about you, but this is one of the really great things about this game that I really, really enjoy. That's building um, things, farms. Building your dream farm. It is a great game for that. It's very relaxing. A lot of stress can be relieved just from coming in here and making something really, really cool. I am going to bring... So I like these trees right here, and I'm going to paint in some grass... And a little grass right here. And even with grass, I think you can, um, again, it doesn't need to be this perfect grass. You know, particular areas where you're going to be walking a lot. Uh, if you were on a farm, I think you can come in here to dirt. Um, make your, your paintbrush kind of small and just paint in little splotches where, you know, the grass, it's not, it's not perfect. It's not like you're fertilizing this grass. Um... You're walking through it. You're probably driving skid steers through it. It's not going to be perfect. Um, you know, we might even have a little, like, gravel with some grass, like, popping up in it right here. It might, you know, that might be kind of on the edge of the driveway. It's kind of like that. We might have, you know, there could be some dry grass. So this is the dry grass paint, which again, so thankful that these have been added. Come in here and just put a little bit of more grass up in here. You have the walkway in. Come back to the paint. Choose gravel. Just kind of swatch that in and around there. Maybe some clean gravel on the walking area. There you go. It just kind of gives it a nice little a little added touch. Two big doors to get equipment in. We'll take you inside this at some point. Um, and you've got concrete uh, pads at the front. And then you you had a concrete pad here. I kind of gravelized it a little bit, if that's a word. There we go. Now we got to continue doing our pathway over here. I don't think I would have anything else here, but I would spin this around. Because we'll be bringing in silage more than likely. Like that. And this would probably then come and meet up here. And this entire area, more than likely, would be gravel. Or dirt. Or mud. And folks, I haven't checked the time. I, you know, gave myself an hour. I don't think I'm quite there yet. Uh, but I have no clue what time it is. So, we're going to do this all in one take, though. Okay, 
Oops, now we've got that. Got a nice big area out here. Uh, we're going to do something special over here where um, those trees are, because I'm, I'm going to expand our animal capacity. Now, this is uh, a nice painted texture. It's not perfectly even. In fact, it's pretty nice, but I'm still going to come in and just, like, paint in um, a little different shade of gravel with a smaller brush just to give... that worn look. You know, areas of high traffic where tires have come through. And then, like for this particular area, this is super nice grass. It, I don't think would be that nice. So, you know, either the forest ground, just to paint in there a little bit, and maybe also over here. I forgot, we probably would have... This would probably be open. So we might have a pull through here. Maybe, maybe not. We could also just back them in. This. And more than likely would probably extend out to here. So you might pull through. Just like that. There we go. I kinda I kinda like that. I'm happy with that. Uh, now, okay, so we've got we've got the house done, which is over here. We kept the bin site. We need to get rid of that head. Let's run over there real fast. We're gonna keep these conveyors. I'm not putting in a bin site with a pit, but I do need an area for seed storage. Uh, so I am going to come in and I am going to put, so I loved this little area right back here where there was um, trash. So I'm going to kind of add some of my own trash back. I just thought it was really cool. I liked it and I deleted it accidentally. Every farm has an area like this where there's just some junk. You have to have it. Uh, you know, there could be, a, you know, a car that got somehow thrown back here by Grandpa back in 1953. Uh, some barrels. Probably, you know, oil and water mixes. Uh, oh, and a canoe. Or the boat. Got a little Johnson outboard on there. A little boat right there. Okay, so I got that taken care of. Now, I want to put in... Uh, a shed. I love this shop. Again, I wish I don't have these written down because we're doing this kind of quickly. I wish I could give you all the modders that have done these, but this is a great shop. I love it. And I'm going to put it in right there. And that is going to be our... There was a Quonset there. I don't love Quonsets. So this is now where we will store seed where we can store uh, chemicals. Again, this is my vision for this farm. You might have a different vision, and neither of us are right or wrong. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Landscape paint. Uh, I would want this to do this, because we wouldn't have grass in the front like that. There we go. Beautiful. 
working. And the cool thing about this, I love this, there's there's a little working area in here. So you could kind of have that pop out and maybe you put like a little parking spot right in here. Where you park the pickup right there. Love that. All right, so we've got the house done. We've got grain storage, chemical storage, seed storage, silos. We kept those. We could always expand if we needed to. Put a grain dryer in. We could right here. We put in a big machine shop right here. Now, we've kept the uh, base game, the base map, uh, cow bar. So I really, really like it. Got rid of the horse stables. We now have three big bunkers. What are we going to do out here? Well, okay, I'm going to go in. This is field. I believe this is field. Let's let it save. This is field number three. So the cool thing about Easy Dev uh, is we can come in here. We can set your field uh, fruit. And we're going to set... I don't want to set all the field fruit. I just want to set field three... I'm going to set it to grass. And I'm going to set it to ready to harvest one. Ground layer, none. No weeds. Dun, 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 dun. I already own the farmland. Boom. Okay. So now, that was alfalfa, I believe. It's now grass. Cool thing about this. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to run over there real fast and let to delete some trees. Again, the goal of this is to make what I think is a cool um, cow, dairy, um, and corn farm, or I should say uh, cash crop farm, based on the main farm on this map. And these are the trees. These are the trees that take a little bit of concentration. You've got to find that right. Where is it? So there it is. Now these are easy. Delete these very simply. You can also get a. Um, you can get a machine. You can get equipment. Um, there are some really cool tree crushers or tree grinders uh, that you can get. Mods you can throw on as implements. It just when I. I'm not fighting to find the proper... There it is. It was one of them. Where are you? Ugh, I'm going to come back to it. I'm getting frustrated. Like that. And these bigger trees are so much easier to delete. Like that. Delete delete and I'm gonna leave these trees down here by the uh, it's not a manure pit but it is slurry pit because they kind of help block the view I was actually watching a YouTube video uh, recently on a cow farm I believe it was in Ottumwa Iowa and it was talking about how farm design is uh, taking place to help mitigate like smells and using trees and uh, foliage and things around the farm that looks purely decorative but really helps with um, the aromas that are emitted from a farm. Uh, keeping them out of the community, having them kind of almost like a chimney effect uh, going up instead of permeating through the community. It was really cool. So I'm going to leave up some trees, but I want to get rid of these because was someone giving me trouble? Yeah, I think it was. Where is the trigger for this? Just gotta slow down. Speed run, but I gotta slow down. Okay, so if you run into this issue, this then this could very well be an issue. Um, I got a solution. So what we can do is we want to get rid of this tree, right? Or you want to get rid of trees in general quickly. Uh, you can purchase, and I'm going to come in here real fast and turn on store deliveries. It's another beauty of some of the mods. I'm going to come in here, and first I'm going to purchase my uh, chainsaw. Let's 
What should we get? Let's get a Husqvarna. Yep, got it. Okay, so we could just come in here, get our chainsaw turned on. And we could, like, kneel down, and we could try to get it, but that's that's not working, okay? So instead, I'm going to buy a tractor, and let's get ourselves a 7R. Love the 7R. So much to that's fine. 305 horse base game 7R. Does it have, yes, it's got a three-point on the front. Let me buy that. Got it. Now I'm going to come into some attachments. I'm going to go into forestry equipment, and we are going to get the piranha. Which, oh, yeah, I just passed it. It's right there. This guy right here. We're going to buy that. Come in here. Attach this, and this is going to just annihilate this tree that we can't get deleted for some reason. Two trees we can't get deleted for some reason. Here, let's attach. Forgot that I brought the mods to the game, so I've got the manual attach mod. So I've got to actually come in. So I think I've got that turned on. Yep. Attach that, attach that, come back in here. V. So now we've got this piranha just eating eating the ground. And it is gonna come over here and chew up this this shrub, this hedge. There we go. Look at that, we got rocks popping up. That's very cool. These piranhas are they're they're mulchers, I believe. Um, so they also do activate if you have stones turned on. Um, a layer of stones. Let's put this in here. We're driving through that tree. Maybe that tree is just problematic. So bizarre. This tree might be... It's not a huge issue. So I'll show you what we might be able to do. Turn the tractor off. We're going to come back into our map editor, we might just need to dig down a little bit. So we've still got the delete objects on. I'm going to come in here to landscaping, sculpting. I'm just going to dig down a little bit and get us kind of the root of the tree. And by doing that, now I might be able to get... Yep, there it is. Maybe. No. No. This tree just might be really problematic. Alright, let's try the tractor. Let's see if the tractor will go through this tree. It could also just be a minor minor glitch in the game. Sometimes maps do that. That happens. This particular tree might be um, problematic. And if that's the case, that's okay. We'll work around it. Nope, we got it. Perfect. Turn that off, raise that, let's get this 7R out of the way, because we've got to put an open pasture out here. Back out. Now i got to get rid of my hole. It'd be cool if Terraform was available, maybe like as base game stuff. We could fill that hole, but in this case we'll just come in here to the, the level tool and level that back up. Perfect. Maybe smooth soften the area a little bit and then you know we really don't want it to be dirt and arable land so we'll come back in we'll paint real fast just like that got rid of those rocks too and we'll put some grass down and it's like those trees were never there but i do have ha ah, the grass out here the grass pasture so I've got a mod. We're going to come in here to buildings, excuse me, animals, cows. I'm going to go to open range. This is part of the Elk Mountain modding um, uh, map and part of Elk Mountain modding. And it, it's not available for all platforms. It is PC or Mac only. But what it does is it allows you to just basically throw a uh, oh, I gotta turn I gotta hold on I gotta change the shop area so that it's further away um, that animals will just be out anywhere and then you can put your fences around 
It's a great, great mod. I like it a lot. So I'm going to actually kind of bring this up here a little bit. And the way it works... Well, maybe I will... It's big. I'll put that right there. Now let's run out there. Let's throw some cows in the area. You can see the area that's currently there. And you've got various sections that we might need to, to just kind of dig out a little bit. Landscaping. Sculpting. I'm just going to come in here and just barely tap the sculpting. And that is impacting my field, but that's okay. I can fix that in just a moment. Okay, there we go. So there's water, and then here's the animals. So let's throw some animals out here. It is. Go up to it. Hit R. What do you want, everybody? Let's throw some... I don't know. Let's say Angus. Some Angus beef out here in this. You can hold up to 250. We'll select that. Let's just throw 60 out for now. We'll buy that. Yep, they're there. There's our animals. And if you run over here and you turn off that, you now have your animals on the proper plane of the terrain, which I absolutely love. Now, we do need to come in here and we need to make a little adjustment on the water trough because it's slightly off, but that's okay. Landscaping. Just kind of tap this a little bit. Like that, and make that fill back in. That looks good. I like that. Now, here's what I do. So, again, this was field three. So I want to fix my mistake, because I used the terrain tool, so it got rid of the grass that was there. I'm going to come back in and set the field fruit for field three. Uh, and I'm going to make that grass again. And I'm going to hit confirm, and now it's all back. But I'm going to do it couple of extra things here because cows love to roam so we need some fences so let's see where they're at that's about their boundary right there let's come in and add some fencing and I think I will choose this and it's roughly you know again this doesn't have to be perfect I'm not gonna make it perfectly square I'm just going to kind of follow the contour, though, of the field. I'm not going to do harsh angles. I'm going to do nice, soft, bending angles. Look at this. I might leave that tree in there. I'm going to run this down. Colliding with a tree. So this is where you've got to be a little... that. Down by this little creek. back of the field. So now we've got a grass pasture with cows on it. Um, but we need to do, add a couple more details. So I'm going to come into painting and I'm going to go into animal mud. Well, this is where I'm going to come in and I'm just going to paint areas in here. This is no longer going to grow grass. But I think it's okay. Um, and then I'm just going to find little patches and I'm going to throw these in here because, again, cows love to roam. You can see that they're they're bunching up kind of where the, um, the, the, the pasture area is, that big teal map that we got rid of. If you wanted to, you could actually lay another one on top of it. 
so that you could get animals out into this section. Uh, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but you certainly, certainly could. So we're just kind of peening in some areas, maybe where these cows have congregated in one area. We can go outside of the grass too. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. You know, maybe you had cows that are walking the fence line. You know, you got a cow that's like wanting to contemplate jumping out. And it's just been walking this fence line. That happens. So we got a little animal mud there. And then I like to like connect them. So I think it, it looks, looks kind of cool. So like they walk in this path. Not in a straight line, but you know, they're just, they're animals. Um, they followed the herd. There we go. Now we've got animals out in that pasture. Well, there was alfalfa, but now we've got moo cows. Really, really like that. That is very, very cool. Uh, what will we need to do here, though? We've got to get into this area, though, somehow, some way. So I would likely put a... Put, like, a fence or a gate right in here. So let's delete some of this. into decorations. Let's find the corresponding gate that goes with that fence set up. There we go. Just like that. That's going to probably be too short. Not a problem. Delete. Put in there. There we go. Now, this would have more than likely mud or dirt. Um, so I realize it would be you know really hard for those cows to walk on gravel. Kind of do this. And you could certainly then herd them um, in and about. Maybe you've got dairy cows that are there. Maybe you've got dairy cows in here. I don't think... Let's actually check this out. Let's see how... If I add animals in here... What they look like. So let's put some dairy cows in here. You can do 160. So combined... Um, you know, you can have uh, four, what's that, 450, it's way too late, and I've had a little brown water, so. Thanks to Clutch, following his move, uh, you get a lot of cows. <clears throat> you get a decent amount of cows, but we're only going to put 60 in here right now. And I want to see... If they... No, they don't. So that's kind of good. Um, they, they don't flow out. But what you could do is you could set up a series of... If you really, really wanted to get into it, you could set a series of fences up inside here to do... Um, you know, moving back and forth between the outer pasture and, and, and the actual barn. Let's do that real fast. We're kind of wrapping it up here on this speed build of Alma, Missouri. Again, this is just my first attempt. Did not pre-run this. Just trying to build something different than what the base map is to make it uh, for me. And I think we've got a pretty decent little farm going on here. But yeah, let's let's create a couple decorations in here with some fencing. Um, we might, you know, since this is... I go to a mud-style area in here, and I would probably have... You know, I've got this. Where is it at? Yes, this is what we're going to use. So we are going to use this fencing... I believe this is the feedlot, the buildable feedlot pack. This, and then I would probably come over here. I'm going to build my 
a big area first. So there's that. Now I would likely have some shoots. Because a tractor is going to be running through there. So I'm going to run this like this. Maybe over. Connect there. Then I'll probably put a gate in here. Gate right there. To that, I don't like that that's not... And I said you don't need to make things perfectly square, but that's just annoying me. Maybe to there, and then we probably... Get rid of this, because again, the tractor needs to come through here. Put another chute, maybe here. you let me put a gate. Okay, I'm going to put a gate right there. Oh, I see. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to put some of this so the animals don't get, you know, they're not afraid when they turn that corner. So there's a little bit of that. Probably do the same here. Actually. That. And, and you can just, you can get so creative in here. That. Okay, so there we go. So that's a little more... The gates are here. And that would bring animals out. And then you'd have to just somehow herd them. Herd them over to the pasture. Uh, now because of this, I'm probably going to come into painting. We're going to go to animal mud. This would be just a mess. Absolute mess. And it might not all be wet, so there could be some dryish stuff in here. Kind of do that. Uh, I do like the idea of adding just again this kind of just adds a little bit of adding some of this grass back in right here where again animals are not going to be it could be patchy like that because again the animals are coming out of this gate right here so there's, you know, nothing's preventing us from having grass here. And we're, we're kind of getting into that point where you can start to um, 
really head down the rabbit hole of, you know, how much detail do you... Oh, there we go. Animal mud. That makes more sense. Probably wouldn't be, like, completely wet in there. It'd be more just animal mud. There we go. Like that. And the same thing would be over here. And there, you know, heck, there could, there could also be a little animal mud spread throughout here. And as we get out into here, too... But primarily, we're bringing the animals out on those side side areas. It was allowing us to have some vegetation. Awesome. I like that. I really do. Very nice. Uh, now, a couple of other things I think we need to add here. So we've got these bunkers. Uh, be for likely silage corn. Uh, I'm going to install some silos. Again, I was talking about some of the YouTube channels that I love watching. Kip Siegler being one of them. We've got these American fermenting silos that I really like. And I don't maybe need to go that high, but I'm going to put them right along the edge of this barn. So you'd be able to come in here with uh, your mixing wagon or your chopper wagon. Put that right in there. I'm going to put another one kind of like that. And I will come in here landscaping. We'll grab some paint. And this would likely be a huge mess of, you know, grass and, and whatnot that's spilled. And so we'll just come do this. And then maybe some of this, just to make it seem like there's stuff is spilled here. There we go, we've got now fermenting silos on the farm and you could come in here and you could throw any type of other decorations you want down here you know there could be like chunk uh, and i hear the cows talking to us there could be you know a watering system next to that you know maybe uncle ed is gonna do some framing here shortly and he's got all of his wood stacked up there along the side of the shop uh, really the the sky is the limit uh when you start talking to this now one thing we do still need to do is i need to come in and i need to add my fencing around here because we got rid of it initially remember so it's kind of the last thing we're going to do we're going to come in here and we're going to paint the fence because i really want to have my fence completed. I gotta make sure there's enough room, though, to get equipment in and out. Bring this down to here. It's gonna go down to the creek. And I'm actually, again, I, I don't always do this, but I'm going to spin this around just like this. Maybe just leave it like that. I don't know. Maybe put some more trees in there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a speed build on Alma, Missouri, where we've got a full open pasture. Should probably get rid of that tree of cows over here where there was alfalfa. 
We've kept our slurry pits. We got rid of our horse barn. We now have uh, bunker silos uh, that we can put some put some silage in. We've got a huge shop for all of our equipment. Uh, we now have an uh, area to store seeds, chemicals, fertilizer. And we kept our meridian silos because we really, really, really like those. And we made just a slightly different house uh, than what was here before. And last but not least, we can come in here and really jazz things up because we would be more than likely doing um, corn as our crop of choice. So I need to go into the map after it saves. And I need to uh, modify field one, four, and nine, and ten. One, four, nine, ten, eight. Okay, so set field level one is going to be corn. Let's do rowing five. Boom. One, four, nine, and ten. And what does that give us? We now have corn growing everywhere, except for wheat right there, which I didn't actually update that field. But corn now everywhere on the farm. And as we shift time forward to a nice, beautiful August sunset here in Alma, Missouri, you can see the speedrun build of this beautiful farm. We didn't change everything, but we changed just enough to make it your own, make it, make it customized. And we even have animals out in an open pasture in what was the old alfalfa field. Thank you so much if you've stuck with us through this entire build. I'd love if you'd comment. Love to hear from you. We hope you enjoy this new map, Alma, Missouri. We'll be back in Wisconsin for the main farm right here on the farm with the Stovers. <laughs>